guys, welcome back to Jungle Flowers Canada. My name is Grania and thanks for joining me. Okay guys, so today is a little mishmash of things, but most importantly, it's another import video. So I did tell you in my last video, I believe, that I was importing plants from Thailand and from Indonesia, so I thought I would give you an update. Uh, one of my orders arrived yesterday from Thailand and unfortunately guys it arrived late. I was in my pajamas because I had been out walking my dogs and got wet in the rain. So I came home, had a bath and I wasn't going to do an unboxing in my pajamas but I was anxious to unbox the plants. So my apologies that I didn't get it on camera but I'm going to talk you through the shipment and I'm going to show you some of the plants. Now this order came from Asian Plant Exports in Thailand, which you guys know I have reviewed on a number of occasions. And of course it's never without its problems, but uh, all in all, aside from missing plants, I am pretty happy with the shipment. I actually shipped um, two Syngoniums, a Syngonium Splash and a Syngonium Pink Splash. And apparently somebody had told me that they're very, very hard to ship. They don't ship well. So I did have a couple of little issues, but I think they might be okay. Um, they This time they used Dragon Courier instead of EMS and they arrived. I don't actually, I didn't never actually received a tracking email. So I'm thinking they arrived in three or four days, guys, because I know they were scheduled to go out the, this week. So I know they probably were only in shipping three or four days, which is incredible from Thailand. So what did I order? I ordered a number of plants, a number of the same plants. And um, the reason I did this was because I had told you guys that we were getting a greenhouse and I also have my setup in the basement so I wanted to keep them alive. Since then, let me just jump straight into it. Since then, I have some more amazing news. So I did speak to you guys before about um, not having been well and going through some difficult situations at this time. And my husband knows how much I absolutely love plants. So he said to me himself and my son, Connor, who is, he's a paramedic now, but he is a carpenter as well, are going to actually build me a lean-to greenhouse onto the side of the house so that I can use it over the winter. Now, I actually designed this. I had already drawn up the plans for this before, but we kept putting it off saying, no, you know what, we'll wait until Amanda gets her greenhouse. But um, we took advantage, I'll actually tell you, we took advantage of Home Depot were doing no interest for 18 months so it was a perfect opportunity to buy all the materials and I can pay for it over 18 months and Kieran and Connor are going to build it for me so there will be no labour costs for me. So I am so excited about this. Kieran knows that this is my therapy and at night I don't sleep very well at night and I potter around with my plants at night time so I am so excited about this. Just to have my own little greenhouse at the tip of my fingers is incredible so I'm going to be able to once I have acclimated these plants I'm going to be able to move them into the greenhouse now I'm going to do an intensive video on the greenhouse at a later stage they're starting it this weekend and I'm going to show you the plants I have drawn up and um, the materials I'm going to use etc I did do a huge amount of research on this guy so it is going to be a heated greenhouse so my plan and my hope is that I'll be able to use it all year round. Guys, that's another video that's going to be coming up, so I hope you guys will follow that journey with me. So anyway, I digress. Let's get back to my plants. So let's start with the Syngoniums. So the Syngonium Splash, which is the white one, shipped better than the pink. Um, I've brought out um, a few examples of it here. It's so pretty, guys. Can you see it? So you can see the leaves are in pretty good shape. Now there was an odd leaf that was dead that I had to pull off some of the plants. And I have actually just put them into sphagnum moss. Here is another one. You can see how pretty they are. Absolutely beautiful. And I will to show you the leaves, or sorry, the roots on these in a few moments. So actually I took out, three. so I got six of them. So I got some for my daughter and some for me for the house and some for my greenhouse. And these are the, look at the pink. So the pink is actually more mature. Can you see, you know the way Syngoniums split as they get older? So this is actually gorgeous. Now the roots on these weren't amazing. Um, they were okay, but they did have some rotting on them. So what I did was I went in and pulled out the parts of the roots that were rotted. So let me show you. 
So you can see these roots are pretty good. So there were some black soft ones and, um, and I pulled off the black soft ones. And um, see there's a little bit that's dead, but, but like some of them are pretty good. So I think these should be fine. There might be one or two that I lose, but all in all, I think they did pretty well considering. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that they came by Dragon Courier. And let me show you the roots on one of the white ones. So you can see the roots there on the white ones. So again, I went through them last night and anything that was kind of soggy, I pulled off but like not a huge amount of roots, but I think it should be fine. That's the white. So I'm very excited about this, guys. I also ordered Skindapsis trubii, and they didn't arrive, unfortunately. And then I ordered two Hoyas. I or ordered the Hoya Sarawak, which is like, wait, did you see this, guys? So I didn't get all of them. And I also ordered the Hoya Fre Carnosa Freckles. So I'm gonna show you the Sarawak, guys. It's absolutely huge look at the size of it and actually i ordered a couple of them um and i was so surprised i didn't realize the leaf was this big isn't that just gorgeous so look look at the um lovely veining on the leaf and i'll hold it to my face to give you i'll hold it there to my face guys just to give you an idea of how large the leaves are isn't that spectacular so I got a couple of these and then I also got the Hoya Carnosa Freckles. So can you see the little specks on it? Now I'm hoping with light that they will get more, fre more freckles, <laughs> but these arrived in perfect condition. Hoyas do ship very well, guys. Um, you know, there, there are the exceptions, but in general, Hoyas ship very well. So there is the Hoya freckles. So they are the four plants that I received. And as I say, I, I was actually missing quite a number of plants because I had ordered extras of everything. So I have been in communication with um, Asian Plant Exports and with Peter to see what he's going to do to sort it out. Now, I do have another large shipment coming in, even larger than this which was actually ordered before this, but um, I'm hoping that that's also on its way and that I should get it in the next day or so. So I potted the Hoyas up in my soil mix. I'll put a link up here to it for those of you who want to check it out, um, where I use pro mix, I use worm castings, I use orchid bark, and I use perlite. And they're, they should be very happy in that mixture. So I potted them up and then I potted up the Syngoniums just in sphagnum moss just to get them going and then when they're a little more established I'll transfer them into soil. So my plant room. So you guys if you did watch my video on how I set up my plant room guys I am so incredibly excited about this because I have had this um, homemade grow tent for the past few years but I always had succulents in it. It's funny enough I never had tropical plants in it so I put my tropicals in and I put my um, propagation plants in there and I think they are going to absolutely love it. I had these in there last night and I can see that they're looking very nice considering they just arrived from Thailand. They all looked very perky this morning. So this grow tent creates the most incredible heat and humidity. So what I did was when I watered these plants after I potted them up, I bottom watered them. So I have these trays that I buy in Dollarama. They're just shoe trays. I buy this size and then there's a smaller size as well. And what I did was I added the tiniest drop of Super Thrive to my water and I bottom watered them. So this had a double effect. It watered the plants, but it also created more humidity within the tent. I also keep a jug of water in the tent, guys, for humidity. But I'm so surprised this morning. I have no drooping on any of the plants. They all look like they're incredibly happy. I also bought a, a little gauge that I can check with my phone that will tell me the humidity and the temperature. I actually bought that for my greenhouse so that I, that I would get alerts if the temperature dropped. But I popped that in there last night and um, the temperature was, was like really warm and the humidity was high. So I wanna share this with you guys because if any of you have the space, if you have basement space, 
or a bedroom space that you can set this up guys you need to do this honestly i have all my succulent planters are all in under here and then i have my tropicals at the end now i did show you guys that i bought this emergency tent in dollarama and it was only 250 which was amazing and they're actually all been they've all been taken off the shelf now for the winter but i did find them on wish so i'm going to put the link below on wish where i found it I think it's a bigger one. I have ordered another one and I'm waiting to see um, how big it's going to be when it comes in. I'd asked my husband if there was any way we could put it on some sort of a track that I could pull back when I want to work on the plants. I'm going to show you the setup now and pull it over. Not on the grow tent. The grow tent will stay as it is, but on my other shelving. So anyway, without further ado, let's go and have a look at these plants inside my grow tent. Okay, guys. So for those of you who may not have seen the video, where I set this up, I just quickly show you. This is just a Costco shelf, and this is the emergency tent that I bought from from Dollarama. Now this is going to be noisy, guys, just for a moment. And then I have my shelving underneath. So I'm just going to throw this up on top, and I'm going to show you the plants. Sorry, guys, just quickly before the humidity goes down. It was at 64 when I opened it. So there's my thermometer. So 64 degrees humidity and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So, okay guys, so there are the Syngonium. You can see there's still a little bit of water left over from where I watered them last night. And they are all looking pretty happy with themselves. I mean, there's a couple of little leaves that are struggling that I may lose, but you know what? It's actually better than I had expected. Okay, so there are my syngonium, and then here are my hoya. So you can see there, there's another sarawak. Hey guys, I forgot to tell you, I actually also bought these, and they're a bit top heavy. I cannot, oh my god, I am definitely getting old, guys. Sansevieria, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? So these are two Sansevieria, I will put the names up. I know one is the Cleopatra. They kind of look like they're the same, but they're not. Um, at least I hope they're not. They're not supposed to be. <laughs> so anyway, I also got them. So down here, guys, I have my propagations. Well, some are propagations and some that I had already propagated. So guys, here I am propagating my variegated string of hearts. And this is my regular string of hearts. This is the butterfly method. Um, I will show you if it is successful. One of them has taken off here. And actually, that is not mold that you're that is not mold you're seeing there, guys. That's actually some rooting hormone, which I added after the fact. I am also propagating my Hoya curtsy. Can you see it there? I just took some cuttings of it and I put them into soil. I am propagating my philodendron micans. I have a couple of pots of them, and then I am also propagating uh, my philodendron lemon lime and my donkey tail not my donkey tail my ruby necklace and there is also a rast uh, lipstick curly rasta in at the back so this is a great environment for propagating as well now guys you can see here because i've opened up the curtain this was 64 degrees it's now gone down, down to 59 so you can see the amount of humidity that this grow tent is generating. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you the rest of my setup. So you can see here that I have the emergency tents across these shelves. And then if you look down at the bottom there, I have grow lights with my pots from outside. I'll zoom in to show you my pots. So I have lots of beautiful succulents that I keep outside in the summer. Now, these grow lights aren't on yet, they're, they're on a timer. But I have some under here. And then I have my lights up here. So that is the, uh, I always forget this, I think it's the T5 bulbs at the end there from Home Depot. And then these are from Costco and they're the 5000 Kelvin shop lights. Guys, I forgot to mention, I haven't installed it yet here. But I actually put 5,000 Kelvin bulbs in these lights as well. And I leave these lights on at night. Now, I put my lights on at night time. Because I'm in a basement, I can do that. 
because during the day there are no there isn't much light in here so the plants get to rest during the day and then I get to turn on the lights at night so let me come back to here so what I have done it hasn't been put in yet but I'll show it to you I have bought a switch a timer switch that you attach here and it will turn these lights on and off automatically so I'm excited about that also oh and one other thing here's my laundry tub I'm just waiting for my plumber to come and he's going to install that tub so that I have water here there's another area with those lights and these lovely plants are going to hang up in this corner as soon as I get my sink in. Guys, what I forgot to mention was the lights in the grow tent are not actually official grow lights. They are 5000 Kelvin shop lights and the plants absolutely love them. I got them in Costco. Now, unfortunately this year, their shop lights are only 4000 Kelvin. So you should shop around and see, can you get some that are 5,000 Kelvin? I keep my plants alive always with 5,000 Kelvin. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit scattered. Um, as soon as I receive my next shipment, I will show you the plants. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that would be amazing. If you could subscribe, awesome. And come back and join me. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Take care guys, have a wonderful day.